Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano, and I just saw Big Hero 6. My god, this movie is amazing. So Big Hero 6 is a first of its kind, sort of. It's actually a Marvel comic that was adapted to a movie by Disney, which is a little different. Everything else they've done was adapted and done by Marvel. They never really did anything like this before. So it was really cool to see Disney's take on a comic book style movie. Now this movie kind of had a little bit of everything for everybody. There was tons and tons of action, lots of cool fighting scenes, cool nerdy technology stuff. The movie was a ton, a ton of fun. I really enjoyed myself during the movie. Now the movie revolves around a little boy named Hero and his cool robot friend named Baymax. Now by now we've all seen Baymax in his cool little commercial spots and Baymax delivered. He was hilarious, he was really funny, he was really cute, and he kind of helped congeal the whole movie into one really awesome experience. Uh, there was also cool characters like Wasabi No Ginger, Gogo Tamago, Honey Lemon, and uh, Fred, who also really kind of brought it together too. Now Fred was voiced by TJ Miller, and this guy has been killing it this year. He was in the Transformers, the newer movie, and he was like the whole comedic element of that whole movie. Really the only thing that made that whole four hours worth sitting through, even though he died in the beginning. So I guess maybe just the first, like, hour? Either way, this is no Transformers. There are robots, but it's no Transformers. Uh, way better, way easier to sit through than that. It was pretty funny, too. Uh, of course, we have Baymax, who's, like, the comedic element, but he's also super cute and adorable, and just watching him with a big butt trying to not knock stuff over was really, really a good time. Scott Adsit really killed it as Baymax. Which is amazing to think that guy, the same guy who was a dad from Moral Oral, can end up doing such a sweet, caring character like Baymax. Now one thing Disney kind of did, and I don't want to spoil too much, but they're on this whole villain kick of not who you think it is. Remember Hans? In fact, Hans actually makes an appearance in the movie if you look close. He's like on a, you know, one of the policemen's desks a lot of people found it in the preview, but if you didn't know, now you know. But keep your eyes open through the whole movie. In the background there's pictures, I think I saw Stitch, um, I don't know, all kinds of crazy stuff, but keep your eyes peeled. There's even an appearance from the Generalissimo himself, Stan the Man Lee, being that it's a Marvel property, Stan Lee's gotta make his appearance somewhere, and he does it in a really, really cool way. So definitely keep your eyes peeled, stay tuned through the whole thing past the end credits, because the movie was freaking amazing. Now, I don't think this movie's gonna have the same staying power as, say, Frozen, but the reason I think that is is because it's not a musical. Frozen had all these songs, you go back, you sing Let It Go, you know, all this other, all that stuff, and it really sticks with people. But movies like this, Big Hero 6, that don't have their own unique soundtrack, I think there was like a Fall Out Boy song or something that was in it. To me, personally, as a big Disney nerd, that takes away a lot from the movie. I grew up on Aladdin, Lion King, stuff like that, that the music really is what kind of hooks you in and you can't stop thinking about it. And that's what worked with Frozen. I think that's the one thing that's going to keep this movie from really, really being one of those that sticks around forever. Now, it was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. And personally, I'll probably watch it over and over. But I don't think we're going to see any Big Hero 6 remakes of Epcot attractions, or Big Hero 6 centric parades, or Big Hero 6 castle fireworks light shows. It just doesn't have that going for it. But the movie itself was great. It was beautiful. The whole town that it takes place in, San Francisco, it's like this crazy mix of San Francisco and Tokyo all blended together with like futuristic crazy fish lantern turbine things going on. It was gorgeous. The movie looked freaking amazing. And I would say go see it and keep your butt in that seat all the way through the end credits because it's awesome. Now guys, I want to know, did you see Big Hero 6? What did you think of the movie? Let me know in the comments below. I want to see what you guys thought. Maybe we can talk a little bit about it. And Do you guys think there will be a Big Hero 6 2? Big Hero 7? No, I don't know how that works. Shrek the third. Another thing I have to mention about this movie is the short at the very beginning. It was called Feast, and it revolved around the cute little puppy who kind of saw a man's relationship and, like, just saw a man's life kind of happen 
but it was all told through his perspective and it revolved around his food. It was really, really cute. It was a good, good, good short. I like it a lot. You guys definitely have to get there early and make sure you don't miss it. Now, another thing in this movie, it kind of got sad and dark. So ladies, bring some tissues. Uh, guys, wear your long sleeves or come up with a good excuse like you got a milk dud in your eye and that's why, that's why you're rubbing it so much. Oh, God. Why? Ah, uh, my heart. But aside from the few sad parts, the movie was great. I can't say that enough. It was so much fun. Go check out Big Hero 6. Go watch it. Let me know what you guys thought about the movie or if you haven't seen it, why the heck not? What's wrong with you? Go watch it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, stay tuned here to the Dano channel because I'll be doing some Big Hero 6 artwork on shoes, of course. Disney, me, shoes, painting. It was bound to happen. But subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Fist bump. Good.